Hello everybody, this is Jace Dion, and this video is going to be a tutorial over how to update mods for Stardew Valley. Let's go ahead and get this minimized and get started. This is a really important video because if you're going to mod your game, you'll eventually have to update for some reason or another. And um, it's just the nature of modding because you have so many different mod authors fixing bugs, adding new features, and the more mods you add, the more you'll need to be able to keep track. Luckily, Smappy, Smappy, whatever you'll call it, makes it really easy. This is a section of Smappy that pops up if you have any outdated mods whenever you start running the game. So if you hit Smappy to turn on Stardew Valley and this window pops up, it goes through a whole bunch of checks, you might see some different colors, and then Stardew Valley will pop up. Well, keep an eye on this, on this, what is this, this window here, because if you start seeing a whole lot of purple, that means you have a lot of mods that are out of date. Now, it's not game breaking because if they're game breaking, they would be red. So red text means you have real issues that could be game breaking. It might not even mean that your game won't work. It might just mean that whatever mods you have associated with that red text aren't working. So none of this is game breaking, but it is good to keep it up to date. What I recommend doing, if you if you flip over and you watch this video and you go turn on some mapping, it's like, I'm going to keep an eye out for purple text. And you get a huge ball of purple text and you're like, I don't want to spend two or three hours updating all these mods because it can get time consuming. What I recommend doing is just doing a few at a time and you'll get it knocked out. What I suggest is keep an eye out for like framework mods, really important mods. Obviously like Baldur's Village, the Forgotten Woods, these aren't game breaking like we already discussed. And if there's like a small, small bug that this update fixed, it's not really a huge issue. But what I like to do is I like to look for like framework mods. These are mods that a whole bunch of other mods rely on to work. So for example, where is it at? I saw it a minute ago. Content Patcher. This is a really important mod. A lot of mods need it to actually operate. So it's probably best to be sure that I at least have these updated to the most current version. What you do is just copy the link. And there's a reason for this. If you just click it, if you just click it, it doesn't do anything. If you right click it, well, it just it just takes you to the bottom of Smappy. We don't want that. That's not what we're trying to do here. I want to actually go to the website. We have the link for the website right here. So what I'll do is highlight it, hit Control C, and then you take that and go to your web browser, paste that into your address, and boom, there we are. So keep an eye out here. This was last downloaded downloaded on July 7th. And that means whenever I come over here, I'm going to look and see when this was uploaded. So if I downloaded it on July 7th and it was uploaded on July 19th, that means obviously there was an update after I downloaded. This sounds obvious, but the reason I'm telling you this is because sometimes Smappy's not perfect. And for example, I did a whole other video earlier and I was just recording for, it was for Baldur's Village, and I realized I actually had downloaded this after it was updated. I don't know why it's saying I, I don't have this updated. And um, who knows, right? That's another thing to look at later on. But that will save you some trouble, because what's the point of re-downloading a file if you already have the most recent version, and Smappy's just giving you like a false positive on, on your, your mod being outdated. So this one's obviously out of date. Hit manual download. You can do mod manager if you do like um, Snowdrop or whatever that mod manager is or whatever other mod managers exist for Stardew Valley. Obviously, I don't use them because I mean, I only know of one. I've only ever talked about one. And to be to be frank, I don't use any of those because modding for Stardew Valley is so simple, at least in my opinion, uh, especially compared to other games like Elder Scrolls, that there's not really a need for any kind of mod manager or anything. So we're going to hit manual download. Now, if you are completely new to modding, this is an advanced course, right? This is probably not where you're at. I do have a link below uh, that will show you how to actually mod Stardew Valley. And then I have another link that will go into detail on Smappy if you're having trouble downloading Smappy. So you might have noticed I clicked slow download, fast download. Let's go back and load. Uh, here, let's do it again. I won't download it again. But here on under fast download, look, that's for premium. If you feel like paying money to have access to, to all these mods, go for it. But 
you have access anyway for free. And I mean, Nexus is doing a real service to commu- to the community in that all you really have to worry about are slower downloads, which really aren't slow at all. So anyway, long story short, if you're downloading from, downloading from Nexus, you do have to have an account, but you don't have to have a subscription. So that's one less thing to worry about. But anyway, we've downloaded this. So let's open it up. Here we are. So let's back up. Here's where it was downloaded. This is a mod I downloaded earlier. Let's delete that. This is a zip file. So be sure you have WinRare or WinZip or something like that. If you are already modding, if you're this far into like actually the, the, the whole modding scene, you, you're familiar with this. But if you're just watching this because you don't know anything about modding, you want to learn, you have to have some way to unzip. Anyway, so we open the file, open the folder, I mean, and there it is. That's what we're going to end up probably moving into our mod folder. But let's be sure. What I like to do, again, I'm probably being a little more thorough than most people need to be. I like to double click and check and see what's inside the folder. Uh, I'm looking for manifest files, con- like the DLL files, because that tells me that this folder is, is exactly what I need. And the reason I say that is sometimes you'll have files and you'll unzip it, but there'll be folders within folders that you don't necessarily, I don't know. That mainly applies to larger mods. I know like Stardew Valley Expanded, the file structure is kind of, at least in my opinion, it's convoluted if you don't know what you're doing. So me, I like to check, open it up, look for manifest, look for content patch or DLL. And that tells me that this is the actual mod and this is the folder that I need to post into mods. All right, let's go over to mods. Let me show you how to get to your mod folder just in case you don't know what you're doing. And I don't mean that in a rude way. Just if it's like your first time trying to do this or you haven't actually gone to your mod folder for a long time, I go to it enough I have it already kind of saved in my 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 quick links or whatever this is called. But if I had to get there from ground zero, let's do this. You're going to open C drive, program files, program files 86, steam, steam apps, common and then stardew valley and mods and there's my mod folder so now i am ready to take content patcher let's rearrange this for simplicity's sake i'm ready to take the content patcher that i just downloaded and paste it into my mod folder but there's one more thing we need to be sure that we do and that is be sure you subscribe (laughs) i gotta slip that in there but no seriously Uh, Aside from that, there is one thing that I recommend you doing in all seriousness, and that is find the actual folder in your mod folder that has the same name as the mod you're updating. For example, I am modding Content Patcher. So I'm going to find Content Patcher in my mod folder, and this is what I suggest doing. Delete it. It's not going to affect your files. Oh, (laughs) let me close this first. That way it's not conflicting. But anyway, the reason I suggest deleting it is it avoids any potential conflicts. It's not going to interfere with your save file. It's not going to corrupt your save or anything like that because we're going to put the mod right back. There's probably a good reason why it's not necessary. But like I've said, I've I've modded lots of other games. And if you don't do it the exact perfect way, it messes up your whole game. And that usually involves being sure you delete the old files. So that's what I suggest. And there are a lot of, to be fair, there are a lot of mods on Stardew Valley where their instructions are to do that anyway. Go ahead and delete the old files before you update the new ones. So just to be safe and always be on the on the side of victory, I guess, when modding, just delete the old files and then drag it from your downloads into your mods. And we have it. There we go. So what I suggest doing now, just to be sure, is open Smappy. Let's go ahead and enlarge it and let it do its checks. And what we're looking for is that purple text again. You'll see some red text. I know I need to fix some things. We're ignoring that for this video. We're looking for purple text. There it is. Okay. All right. And so it's an alphabetical order. So we're going to go to C, look for content patcher. So content patcher is no longer a mod that Smappy recognizes as needing updated. That means I have successfully updated that mod. And that's one less on this list I need to worry about. So anyway, that's how you do it, y'all. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. 
here we go and the game's working so if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i will see you all in the next one peace out